What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're getting into more of the warning. They released a music video on a song called Century Blood, I think. 21 Century Blood, because it's in Roman numerals. <sighs> it's early. I'm in, I'm in a mood today. Drinking too much coffee, I think. But let's just jump in, man. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, like, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the merch store, the football podcast. Everything's linked down below. Make sure you go check it all out but let's just jump into some more of the warning love these guys let's rock and roll all right let's see what we got they don't really i haven't seen many many mu music videos by them outside of like sick and shit but this seems like a legit video Okay, so it's definitely the everybody's two. Yeah, they're having a conversation across from each other on their phones. So it's that whole whole thing of like people are too enthralled in their technology. Oh, this is older. This is a lot older. Holy shit. Indoctrinating, dude. Okay, so immediately indoctrinating them into like this society of embedding in technology. It's so true, man. It's pathetic. People don't even know how to play outside anymore or hold a conversation. Um, I didn't know this. This was this old. So this is kind of cool. This might be the oldest song I've done by them, and I feel like an idiot. Twenty first century blood, not twenty one century blood. You stupid. Look how young they look. I don't even know where to stop because there's a few things I want to say, but this video is just like, yeah, dude, wake up to the real world. I love, okay, here's a good place. I love how they are depicting how people are just so into what's on their phone or what's on the computer screen that they're, they can't even see the world around them and that's like what this is showing is like he finally took his blindfolds off and is seeing the world like yo it's so fucking true man it's it's more true the closer to cities you get the closer to cities you get the more people are just completely blinders in technology and their phone and what they're doing like they're not looking at the world around dude i oh god i hate cities like i live well, 
if you're in a plane, it would take about 10 seconds to get to New York. But like in a car, it's probably two hours. But um, the closer you get to New York City, the the feel and the air and everything just changes. And I despise, I hate it. Oh God, I hate it. People come from all over the world to go see New York. And I'm like, why? But I'm, that's a tangent we don't have to get into. So, uh, yeah, no, the, the, the depiction of what there's, this is really, really cool. I do like this a lot. Hey, drop that shit. Sister, she could sing at that age too, man. Just belting these notes. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Oh, wait, is he getting up? Or is she getting up? She's getting up. Okay, I was going to say, there ain't no fucking way he gets up. Yeah, now she's waking up. You know what I love video-wise that they did here? They made the sun very, very orange to make it feel warm and, like, present. They made it, like, envelop. The lighting in this is very intentional. And the wind, the wind is there to like, it's all intentional. The message in this song is really, really relevant, man. Oh, he does get up. Yeah. It, okay. At a young age, the, the three of them could have been uh, triplets. It's crazy how much alike they looked when they were younger. They've kind of grown into themselves now, but like, Jesus Christ. That's really good. Oh my God, that's really good. But like, the camera thing really is impressive. Like, the, the warm orange sun and the wind blowing. It's like one of those things, if you ever go outside on a nice, like, 68 degree day, somewhere in that range, and you just go sit and there's no noise, you're not by traffic, you're just out, nothing. And all you you close your eyes and all you get is warm from the sun and like a little breeze, dude. Fuck. Ugh. That was a great song. I'm like really, really impressed by how good that was for like being an older. When did this come out? Seven years ago? So does that put us at 2017? ish so if they're 20 with uh, so danny was like 19 probably 
I think I'm getting that math about right. Something like that. That's crazy. For like someone of that age to realize too, like that being completely obsessed with technology and your phone and not seeing the world and all that. That's like something her generation, like that age group was really the ones that were like, like when I was younger, we weren't allowed. First of all, we didn't even have phones until like high school. But then when we got them, we weren't allowed to have them in school. Apparently now the kids like just can use their phone to look shit up in class. It's like if, if I pulled mine out to text, I'd get it taken away from me. Like, and by text, I mean like one, 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 seven, seven, nine, nine, like, oh, fucking I, I don't know. I'm gay. I give up, but it's, that's really cool for such a young age. And the way they depicted that, that was a great, great, great song. So sweet. I love it. Make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know what song to do next. And we'll keep going on the warning train, man. I love these guys. So let's let's uh let's keep it going. So as always, if you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the merch store, the football podcast, everything is linked down below. And I will catch you next week for more of the warning. As always, stay happy, stay healthy. Later.